Right then, good morning everybody. It is round two um, and it is a glorious day today. It's a really, really nice day. I think it's gonna be 18 degrees, um, which is probably normal temperature time for May, but we've had like the met wettest May on record, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm back for round two on this job today now. Um, I completed, well, almost completed this job here yesterday. I've just got this side of the roof to do, um, which I'm gonna access from the scaffolding where I am now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scrape that bit off and then it's on to this job. Now this roof is um, considerably a bit larger, I think, um, and there is more moss on it. Um, so this should be a bit more of a tougher clean. There's these sort of awkward bits to get to either side of there, um, but the back is pretty flat, um, which is a good thing. Uh, I just thought from yesterday's video as well, I'll tie up some misconceptions because there's a lot of viewers, um, there's a lot of you from America and the way we clean roofs in England is a little bit different than it is in America. Um, now these are concrete tiles, so they're not shingles or anything like that. Um, so they're very porous, um, but very tough, very solid roofs. Um, so the aim of the game is to remove as much moss as possible and then treat the roof with a chemical. Um, I personally use a chemical called a biocide. Um, what this does is once the bulk of the moss is gone, you apply the biocide to the roof. It soaks into the gaps, into the crevices and into the porous surface layer of the tile. Um, kills off something called a biofilm, um, which rests on top of the tile, um, which causes the growth of moss and lichens and algae and things like that. I love you saying like, oh, where's the after pictures after you've done the job? Once the moss is removed, that's basically all the after picture that you can get for now. Um, the biocide is a slow process chemical, so it slowly eats away and destroys the white spots, those white spots all over the roof, that's lichen or lichen, however you want to say it. Um, that's the last thing to go on the roof. It can take upwards of a year for that to go. The only other way to get rid of that is pressure washing. Um, and that's, even pressure washing sometimes doesn't bring it up. Um, even bleaches and things like that don't sort of bring it up. So they can, but it's, you know, not the best sometimes. Um, so the only real way is, is quite high pressure on the roof to get rid of it all. Or steam cleaning and things like that. Um, the way I choose to do a roof is to just remove the moss, apply the chemical, let the chemical do the work. Um, using licensed products. The green and the yellow colour and that will go quite quickly within a few weeks. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the reason why. So I thought I'd clear that up for everyone wondering. Because um, I know in America there's not much moss that grows on the roofs there. So it's a case of just putting some bleach on the roof, um, downstreaming it, and it will come up, you know, transform within the day. Um, but whereas in England, I mean, you can do it that way, um, but I prefer not to. It's, there's a lot of lead flashing, PVC, and a lot of errors. And especially working on your own, you'd need a guy rinsing 24 7 and things like that. And it's um, just a bit difficult. I'd rather do it a safer way just so I know I'm not going to damage anything on the property. So yeah, I'll uh, get to work. Thank you all for watching. This one should come up really nice. Now I can spot, I don't know if you can see from where I am, there is a broken tile in that valley there. Um, it's not one that, well, it's a slip tile basically. 99% um, sure I didn't do it, but I'll check the footage just in case. So I'm gonna have, and there's a lot of loose mortar in that valley as well. So if I try and pull that moss down, it's in the middle of there, things are gonna fall off and uh, yeah, run down there. So I'm gonna get the gutter vac out um, in a minute after I've done this section. And then I'll basically just hoover the, uh, the moss out and the gutter vac won't be powerful enough to take a tile up. So. Yeah, that's the way I'm gonna deal with that one.
right, um, the time currently is 4.51. Um, so that gives you an idea of uh, how long I've been going. I got here at eight this morning um, and still a little bit to do. But I was just looking then, look at that behind me. Sometimes you get so caught up in the job, you, uh, you forget to even look around for the day. I genuinely had not even looked over there all day long. I was so focused on the roof. Yeah, what a lovely view. Um, anyway, back to the job. Uh, I've got this bit to do, the other side of this bit, which is going to be quite awkward. Um, and then just this easy bit down here, just to finish scraping and soft washing. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a hell of a day, um, but it's nice to be back. And uh, getting the roofs done and dusted again. So I will have this done by today. I'll probably just work a bit of overtime. Uh, may finish six, seven o'clock. So probably more like seven o'clock. So um, two roofs, two days, two large houses as well. So um, yeah, not bad going really. And uh, I'm knackered, but not too bad. So uh, I'll get cracking. Nice one. end of the video so thank you everyone for watching um can you see my tan lines all on my head that's this is literally from the last two days um so yeah it's given me some proper tan lines where i've been wearing my hat and my uh, my mask and stuff all day uh, but yeah thank you everyone for watching the video um it was a fun one um it's been a good experience getting back on the roofs because it has been about a month so i hope you like this little two-part um video sort of thing that i did um we've got a pressure washing job coming up tomorrow so i'll have a video out uh, either tomorrow night or sunday for that um, it should be a cool video. Um, secondly, uh, I don't know if there's a lot of new people here, so I don't know if you remember that um, a while ago I put a little card on screen. It said the amount of people that are subscribed who watch the video versus the amount of people who aren't subscribed who watched. And I think it was 95% was not subscribed. Um, that number's gone up a bit, so I'm going to try and aim for the next goal. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, um, let's get it to 8% that are subscribed, that'd be wicked. So yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. Um, I'll pop in the after pictures of the video now as well. Um, I had to get the customer to send them over because I'm terrible, I forgot to do it. So yeah, I'll put the after pictures in now. Remember, full results, you're looking about a year onwards. So um, very soon, within the next few months, I'm gonna be going back to some jobs that I did last year and getting the updated sort of pictures of that. So I'll do a video and basically show you what to expect after a year's worth of, um, a year after treatment on a roof. So yeah, thanks everyone, peace.